believe we were going to set up some coastal cities over on the east side. Um, and then maybe get the Yang upgrade. So that, um, these cities can kind of start just growing really fast and putting in. Um, another thing I realized in this couple day break I've had between last episode and this one is... Ingala has... Oh wait, no. I didn't think that I had this, um, upgrade, the grants upgrade, to give extra great people. Um, and I noticed that since... I believe I said we were going to try to go for a culture victory. And our, we haven't been focusing on tourism at all. Which is, like, what you need to win a culture game. Basically, the best way to think about it in a, a culture victory is you need a bunch of tourism. You need more tourism to have, like, um, influence over other civs so that their citizens would rather visit your civ as tourists than, like, travel around and explore their own civ, basically. So a good way to think of, like, numerically think about it, is that your culture output is like your defense, and your tourism is like your offense. And at the end of each turn, it adds however much culture. Yeah, so like this turn, it'll be 151.9. Maybe next turn it'll be an extra, it'll add it like 152 or something. And so then it'll just keep adding and adding and adding, and that's your total culture. And then in order to, for somebody's civilization to be influential over you, their, like, collective tourism needs to exceed your collective culture uh, throughout the game. And I know that there are ways for tourism. Tourism gets a lot of, like, percentage bonuses in the civic tree for, like... Um, there's some, or I think if you have similar, similar, or the same religion, I believe you get like a tourism bonus. I believe if you have a trade route, you that civ, you get a tourism bonus. Maybe if you have the same government, that will affect it. Um, then another big th uh, thing that impacts tourism is great work um this little tab up here across the top on the far maybe i don't have a great work i thought there's normally a tab up here maybe i don't have a great work yet I'm going to assume I don't have a great work yet, but once we get urbanization, I think we're going to rush towards natural history to get archaeologists, be able to get artifacts, which count as um, great works, kind of, which provide tourism, culture, faith, stuff like that. And that'll help us jumpstart our um, path to a culture victory. Um, and if we are going for a culture victory, that also means we should probably meet everybody. Because right now I'm just getting cultural influence over these two guys. Uh, since we took out Arabia, we took Alab, Cairo, and Homs last episode after we declared that protector at war against him to protect against the city-state uh, Anshan. And yeah, we need... To meet everybody to get to start getting influence over them so well i'm gonna try to start making boats caravels if possible to explore the ocean um i fled east i don't think i have a way to head west not currently um yeah i can't go south maybe edinburgh build a 
canal down there. That'd be pretty. That'd be actually very helpful. He only has one crystal city on the side. I guess Hadden, Haddington could put a harbor. I uh, should be able to settle this city. It's upcoming. And once this lighthouse opens, oh, one of the most beautiful oh awesome. I forgot we were working on this. Envoys are built when you're a suzerain of a city state. The city gets a 15% bonus to the type bonuses provided by the city state if you're a suzerain of two or more city states of that type. And that boost is given to all your cities. It's built on flatland adjacent to a coast. Okay. So. At 15% bonus, the type bonuses. So, what cities are we? We're a suzerain of three city states, two science and or two are scientific, one is industrial, and then this one is culture, but we're not the suzerain of it, so we'll be getting a 15% science bonus across the board, I believe, is how that works. And then. Rome will be getting a 15% production bonus. I assume that's what that means. Uh, but, yeah. Some farms built. If we can get Cairo up and running, it will be. Rome is there. I'd like to see. What I like about cities is that everything is. Wants to do this turn. I'd like to see where that new city is. It, they just settled. Oh, okay, right there. Okay. My row. Is there a way for me to see? What? Oh, okay, yeah. So you can just click this little toggle city fills. It'll pop up and tell me what all the um what all of the districts they have on their adjacency bonus is. If I go to Radium here. That's a plus seven, plus eight. And this big city, which is doing most of the heavy lifting, um, culturally, at least. Um, over a third of my culture is from this one city. And a decent chunk of my science is too now, if I can get that upgrade for Pagala, where citizens give science. Give one science per citizen, then... That's an additional 15 science on top of percentage bonuses, so it's probably gonna be like 20 or something. Um, and we gotta we gotta work on this city to expand up here. The bunch of just emptiness up here that we can utilizing better. Um, done building that wonder. I would like to get some builders going. I'm going to get the economic card. gives bonuses to builders, or builders, 30% production bonus towards them, and then they get two extra build charges to help us build things so much quicker. Um, settle the city here, so why do we get four errors? Has become larger, so three more cities than its next biggest rival. Oh, okay, maybe that's why. I know, I think, did we end up building the Taj Mahal? Yeah, so... So I guess it was normally three, and then it got up to four, because the Taj Mahal makes it so that when you, um, get an error score bonus, and it's either two or greater, I believe, then it just gives you an extra error score. So... Going to have the city. It's four. Adjacency bonus harbor. Yes, please. Um, I'm gonna have the city actually move over to Elytre. I think is how you say it. Um, and then I'm just gonna have that um, trade route there. Just go to Rome or probably Rome. Cause I think Rome will give it the most food. I just want to bump that city's population up a sap. Or the housing up population. 
Um, I think Rome will have the most, but I'm just gonna sort it by... Ooh, yeah, yeah, okay. And it's only in five turns. The complete. Completion we have... Oh, get an error score from each trade route. Okay, cool. That's 36 to 56 turns is when this arrow will end, so I can get, what, 7 to, like, 11 trade routes off? So that's 11 error score, or 7 to 11 error score, possibly, which is pretty exciting. Um, can I, I love canals, but I don't think I can get any. I don't think I can get much. Like, yes. Elia here could build a canal here. So the... The... City... Could actually have a... Garrisoned... Naval unit? If I wanted, or... I build a canal here. So canals are plus two adjacency bonuses for... Industrial zones. I could build it here the industrial zone here, that'd be plus two from the canal here, and plus one from the quarry here, then that is a hill I could build a mine there, that is a hill I could build a mine here, two mines, that'd be another plus one, so it'd be a plus four industrial zone, and this would be, this one here is a plus one, and then this is, t excuse me, two, because each of these provide half, plus Two, and then two adjacent districts is plus one plus three so yeah I'm going to actually so if I may oh no I'll leave that in Dutch I'm going I really like this two 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 food two production tile although that's mostly just really good for like early game but I mean even they came that's still a deep file. Or what, we're in... Oh well. Um, oh, we already have the core. So, no need for that. I need mine here. In here. I will have to harvest the sheep there, which will give food, which we're housing, capacity, basically. Neighborhoods. Neighborhoods provide additional housing based on the appeal of the tile. Appeal is like how pretty, or just how how good the tile looks, how attractive it is. Um, so, maybe I'll put it here. Do neighborhoods districts for recency bonus? In the description, it says a district in your city that provides housing. So I'm going to assume so. So I'm going to build on there, because I want to build, I just want farms here. Tons of farms. Um, Rome is building a city. Uh, okay, and then a spy. Hub. Oh yeah, we could have the city build a commercial right here, because I think we got one commercial hub here, this one production of three commercial hubs. Nice adjacency bonuses. This one should be a plus two from the river. Plus how much is it? It gets plus one for every two adjacent districts. So there was a commercial up here, commercial up here, so that's two. That'd be plus one more, so that'd be three total. Then plus this. I don't know if this would be like what three districts? So would that like so that would be 1.5. Does it just round up two? Or does it round down to that? I'm not sure about. So I guess we'll figure that out. I can work on this until it gets to the point where they will really be able to finish it and then I can do other stuff. Uh, neighborhood and. Ooh, I'm gonna have Cairo just bust out a bunch of buildings. 
builder. We get like five build. We're just gonna go ham. I might have it actually produce some more. Because I don't know how. Version capture. Just please don't make rather not to. I feel like these guys both hated Cairo. Oh, is he declaring war? Oh, P. Oh, hey. And so probably some units up here. God, that he was up here. Honestly, working on the encampment up here. Is there a? T Dang, I was gonna say if I own this, I could chop it down, and that would make this go so much quicker. Good build. I could probably build some mines here. Build and homes, so they need to take this city. So if there's, I doubt that the AI will actually do much. But if they do, they'd be coming from here, basically, because they're not gonna go all the way around to liberate the city. So I will be fine just kind of leaving my dudes there. So I'm a little nervous about up here, potentially. Although I don't imagine him actually. I have an archer up here. I have enough money that I could. Two crossbow. Get the spider. Oh, when I need to. Colonialism. Oh. I'm happy to treat your heirs provide gold equal to 50% of the combat strength. Oh, it's mostly. Uh, bonuses to colonies? Well, we don't have any colonies. Uh, plus culture, faith, and gold from each of your suits are enough. Trade around suits. Well, that would give me, what, plus six of each of those, because I'm the suit of three city-states. I don't really think that's... ...opinion. I will keep this one in mind for the combat strength bow. But I don't. Can I check in here to see art museum? Check. I have one. Where's the third? So I'm wanting to get some great writer, artist, or musician to get some tourism. I think for extra, I would do this one, but I don't have any broadcast centers, so get rid of the grand op public. So get in the meantime, for great artist points. Each turn. Let's get some builders. Here's where it'd be plus two already just from this entertainment district. I'm able to build this wonder in 17 turns. That'd be plus four. Does. Here's where it does. Okay, cool. Government. Favors. Bye. I'm not going to do faith, because I'm only getting 17 faith a turn, I'm not too worried about that. 
Spies are nice, but I might go for the diplomatic favor. And because then I would get extra bonuses for leveraging city-states, which leveraging the city-state is Anshan, for example. Or, well, oh, I did that earlier with Cardiff. You pay money, pay 850 gold to control its military for 30 turns. That's levying the military. Um, government Plaza upgrade I chose would make it so that it would be a lot cheaper. And they'd get a combat strength bonus for doing so. Does this... What is he? Sue's ring? The city does. Uh, birth rate is... I'm not worried about it. But... I am... Pump the barracks in front. Crossbow. Just in case. Never be too safe. You need to build a diplomat at some point. I'd like to build it somewhere that has a bunch of districts around it so that it can protect. Um, so the enemy spies operate two levels below when targeting this district and adjacent districts. So I'd like to have it near a bunch of other districts so that it protects all of them. I don't think I really have space over here, unless I get rid of this quarry, then it, it would cover two aqueducts. I don't know if Kent spies attack aqueducts, I don't know, but then it would protect all three industrial zones, which I rely on a lot of production city. Let's see, current commercial hub would be plus three. Are you making it funny? But or no, no, no! I wanted to get navy alien production. They're an industrial zone. Second, no. Can keep. No. Chop a tree and feed that process up quite a bit. If anything from this war, I'm actually more worried about the city state because it's closer to me. Um, well, I guess because I can see military units on my borders is probably the only reason that I'm actually somewhat worried about it. But I should just be able to send or I'm still a crossbowman. Can I just buy not buy crossbowman? Um where is crossbowman? Don't I have another crossbowman somewhere or no? What is guys two movement if it's attached? It still would take a couple turns to get over here. I I'm more worried about. I'm just gonna leave it for now. They might pillage some tiles, possibly. Can't. I don't believe you can pillage wonders. Tiles that wonders are on out. I think they're basically just like industry. Um, which is interesting. But let's get. Yeah, screw it. Why not? City is housing. I guess we could chop down some trees. Build, build a neighborhood here somewhere. It's five, five. I'm gonna go just build a neighborhood. The city's not gonna have like an insane amount of production. I'm just hoping to get a large population for the theater square to get the bonuses from that. Um, 
This one, on the other hand, is a little more defensive. Um, bad. Oh, I thought that said repair. My bad. Let's go with a workshop to build stuff. Load, load. Skylander and the Great Admiral. How did they pillage? They did antiquity sites. So, antiquity sites, at least in Civ 5, and I assume it works away in the same way in Civ 6. Um, the places that antiquity sites spawn are based off of like battles where like units died way earlier in the game. Um, antiquity sites can be dug up by that is so many over there. Holy, crap. um. Be dug up by archaeologists, which you cannot buy, they must be trained. Um, where do I have an archaeological museum? Uh, they have one, and I have one in Cairo. Builders, ooh. That's our key right now to get a bunch of a bunch of tourism fairly quickly. Uh, oh, and the naturalists we can get, which can make national parks. And national parks are based off of, I believe, in order to make a national park, it has to be like a certain the tile or it's four tiles. And I believe they need to be a certain level of appeal. I'm not quite sure what, but they need to have a certain appeal, and mountains always have, like, amazing appeal, which I think makes mountains almost always good spots for, for uh, national parks, and also because I believe the tiles for national parks cannot be... Like, you can't have built anything on them. They just have to be kind of just untouched. And mountains are pretty hard to, like, interact with unless you build, like, Machu Picchu or if you have a military engineer build it, dig a tunnel through one. Um, we may need to... Antium could go one. Three. It could buy... It could buy these tiles here and make the... A, uh, Make this four right here. National Park. Ooh, uh, symbol for National Park? I. Oh, designate National Park. <laughs> National Park. And if I recall, National Park's tourism is based off the appeal, and I believe mountains are the highest appeal. So I believe that breathtaking, yeah, they're breathtaking, which is the highest highest appeal level. I believe they'll be getting each tile get grants tourism based on the level of appeal, and since breathtaking is the highest, I believe each one would give four tourism, so it'd give a total of sixteen, I believe, which is like like an extra fifty percent of what I'm currently for tourism really nice i'm gonna to try to repair that and here you'll need to repair these tiles and on the mine on that major drought please that's a theater Wait, that's not my city. Okay, I was like, why don't I recognize this? Also, I forgot to change steam power. <sighs> Whatever. Um, I need to remember to Annotation. Let's let it go for like a couple turns so we can get the Eureka. And then we get the Eureka and we'll be... Auto 
fulfill, basically. Uh -oh. oh, this is my other... My other crossbowman. We should have the city work. Yeah, I probably should. We can just change. It's too great. As soon as Bam! You some great work. How do I do? Oh yeah, see now there's an icon for great work. Great works. Great works provide bonuses, depends on various things. Um, this one, for example, gives two culture, two tourism. This one gives three culture, four tourism. Um, and sometimes placing, or like choosing where to have great works at and give additional bonuses. There are theming bonuses, which doubles out the, or the theming bonus doubling output when displaying objects of the same type from different artists. We'd like to have multiple pieces of art in this museum, but not from that guy. I'm not going to say his name because I'm going to butcher it, but if I can have these other two spots filled with pieces of art from other artists, then we'll get a theming bonus, which will double their output, which would be huge. So, so hopefully we can get some more artists. Has Chichen it? It's not. It gives plus two rainforest, plus two culture to all rainforest houses city. This one production in the city has what? Uh, one, five, six, one, two, six, possibly seven rainforest tiles, which is, um, but you do have to build it on a Rainforest. Do I have a theater school? I do not. This gives some adjacency bonuses. Where is Cairo? Theater school. Adjacency bonuses. Okay. Um, darn. I'm gonna. That's it. Probably this. So this city could build a theater right here. Hmm. I guess maybe I could do like. Kitchen, it's a here. I could have a. Here, hold on. Let me visualize it, okay? Make it a little bit. We can go like Pichinetta and to be the theater school. The city three tiles away, so it's within range. And I can put a entertainment complex or wait. I put in an human complex high road. Let's put this kind of. I just spelled it wrong. So, Cairo's entertainment complex plus two to this. And then I could put Holmes's theater square right there. So, that'd be plus two from the wonder adjacency bonus, plus two from the Entertainment complex or entertainment district bonus or adjacency bonus plus one from having these two because it's 
Um, that's two districts, so that'd be plus five. And then if I could build, I, I could have homes build another, um, another entertainment complex like here or something, which would make this a plus seven theater square. Um, I'm unsure how antiquity sites affect it. Or it would just dig it up, so I could probably just build the entertainment district there after that I could get the adjacency bonus for both of these. So this would be a plus one, two, three, four, five, possibly six, since it's three districts, if it rounds up from like this 1.5, if it rounds up to two, then that would put these two in phenomenal shape. Um, there, so this is home, comms, whatever, comms, um, a lot. That looks, that looks pretty great. So what this would end up being, I think I pl said plus six or plus seven adjacency bonus. This would be plus five at least. So that's 12. And then with the government card for plus 100% meter squared district adjacency bonuses, that'd be, that's just plus 24 culture for free. That's not even including like the buildings that I could put in it. It'd be crazy. Plantation, get some E. Yes, please. I'm gonna have this guy come down here and he's oh wait no. Oh. I don't know. I should have here and we'll have from or oh wait no 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 the only reason I could build it in Rome is because I believe your capital automatically gets like a place to put the the great works it, they um anything special to hold the great work fires begun. Fine. I hate fires, but at least I think the trees regrow, and then I think it might give a production bonus when they regrow. I know that if there's a fire, and then there's a flood, I think the flood cancels out the fire and gives an adjacency bonus, but I don't know exactly. So these crosswomen are kind of annoying because I want my builder, I want my people to be able to go freely over here, but they just can't. Tornado outbreak. Not in my city. <laughs> yes, I could also put a... I could have a... Um, I could have a hole through the mountain range. The mountain tunnel. <laughs> We'd have the mountain tunnel here so the units don't have to go all the way through here. They can just. Whoop, or, yeah. And then I believe mountain tunnels also give a. Um, yeah. It multiplies the gold trade routes get. So. Only can be built on an adjacent mountain tile. Cannot be pillaged or removed. Okay, cool. Now, how do I get military engineers? I can't remember. What cities can build engineers? There's an armory. I think the city. Yes. Oh, I need to repair the armor. Yeah. I'm gonna. Then once that's built, hopefully get a military engineer so I can get here and here. Just get those out of the way. Have them. So it'll be super nice. So, I've got a spy. Hmm, where I want to put the spy? I would like to have a, a defensive spy, but I'd like to be able to get some upgrade or like promotions on him before I put him on the defense. So I might. 
I might try to put him in. I'm gonna put him in middle, I think. To try to reduce the amount of envoys that Russia has there. For him not to have suzerainship over this. Because I just don't want him. I can. The zoo. Which gives bonus amenity, or the bonus amenity extends to each city within six tiles. Um, so, so this is the entertainment complex, so it'll hit, obviously, these two in Rome, and I think it'll hit one, two, one, two, five, six. It'll hit this city, and three, four, five, six, not quite. I think that one's too far, but it'll hit one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll hit six cities, so it's just giving six free amenities in total, which is awesome, because we are currently out of amenities. In somewhere, honey. Do trade. Do for the amenities and then the factory. And city. Probably. Get some extra food from the um, water tiles here. I think, actually. I'd rather have the market for the extra trade. That fire kind of just exists, unfortunately. Um, I don't know where this trade route is. They do have a trade route to my. Oh, all I'm getting from it is religion, so I can just pillage it. Oh wait, those are that's mine. Stupid. <laughs> they do have a city, or they do have a trade route though, but I think it's that one. <laughs> okay. Let's just ignore it. I'm trying to pillage friendly. Friendly trade routes. Whoopsies. Also, the zoo, I believe, gives one science to each rainforest in marsh time. Two, three marsh. We're not getting quite as many benefits from marsh tunnels now as we were, like, way earlier in the game. Somebody? Oh! So Scotland overtook Peter and is now the suzerain of the city-state. I'm no longer at war. So I just realized I have enough envoys that I could have just taken suzerainship. Uh... Which is kind of my bad for not seeing. The building provide. Ooh. That. The human race yeah. will not. Mm. Build the plantation. Entities going. Pretty a bit war. Oh, just because I sued them, so they declared war. Since they're my city state. I guess I could scissor in yes, and the campus. We'll just do that, why not? I can just start, like, suzerainning, suzerainning a bunch of the uh, city-states on the continent. That'd be some. Awesome. I bet these guys will probably get upset, but I frankly do not care.
skill. Um, bonuses from Kitchen. This is woods. Okay, so once it's built. I'm just having the worker here, or the builder here, ready so that when I get done building the workshop and I start working on Chichen Itza, you can just chop down the trees and give those bonuses, or those yields, to towards the, um, towards the wonder. Okay, you here, you Go. Build a lumber mill. Get some nice, uh, some nice production. I was saying, three. Nice the housing. Is there a way for me to check that? I would like to know. Oh, housing from buildings, five. From civics, four. From water, three. What buildings are... Plus two housing. Oh, I didn't realize the lay... I thought the layhouse just gave plus one housing. If the city... Oh, okay, so it's plus three housing from this. Because the plus one housing base and then plus two if it's adjacent to the coast. Did not realize. That makes... In more sense. Okay. So I'm gonna have this go to city RPM. Or Arpinum. And then the trade route that I get will probably just be going towards Rome to give it more food to just grow or blow up in population. So that it can actually start contributing. You friend being controlled by this city and here let's get some more need for production go to rome all that housing right now it's um five population nine turns until gro or city growth to the next population and this will cut it down to four so we just cut five turns off of that and it'll go oh, forgot to do it again <laughs> i'm Need to work on that but no time to dwell on the past so we're just going to keep going um stock exchange we get big ben be nice uh, a river adjacency next to a commercial hub district with a bank um possibly possibly could actually build that right here that would give this a plus two adjacency bonus so yeah yeah, I might try to do that. Trade merchant, trade routes. Your own cities give plus half a gold for each specialty. Sure. Why not? What's the next rate? 500 gold and gets a governor title. There's the... It's there. Cool. Now we can get money from our own trade routes. And screw it. Let's just... Suzerain. The last city state on the... Although I did realize that I'm at war with these guys, and this guy, the city state has, like, <laughs> zero military. It just has a cannon. Oh. Catastrophe. Okay. I thought that was the volcano in the desert near, like, my cities. Granted, I know Cairo's now mine, but, like... I don't want to be mean about it, but I was going to say it's, like, one of my more important... I was worried that it was one of my more important cities. Which, not to say Cairo isn't, but it's not as important as some other cities. Wait, what, who, what was the city with? I thought that this city had archaeological music. Yeah, so why? Where's the archaeologist? Uh, 
or no builder going and then because yeah because it'll take four turns and this will expire in four turns so i'll be able to sw or this will complete in four turns so i'll be able to swap the policy card so i can get rid of this one since i've got a bunch of work going and have you build them City shipyard. We need a neighborhood. Oh yeah, we were having that arms here. I need when this builder is done. I will have him. We need a neighborhood to house set people. Build the sewer. Temporary housing while we procrastinate and delay that project. Anything crazy happening this turn? Well, I think we will wrap up this episode right here. And next episode we will try to get a bunch of more housing up in this area expand these cities a lot more, um, get some archaeologi or archaeologists going to pump uh, bump up our tourism, which is already like 20 higher than it was when we started. So, um, yeah, I will see you in the next one.